What is going on everybody? It is the Misfit Bear and welcome back to another reaction. Man, Sony and PlayStation have been doing some work. I saw the video of uh, the showcasing of the Unreal Engine 5 and man, it looked gorgeous. It looked so gorgeous. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the state of play for Ghost of Tsushima and 18 minutes of gameplay, full presentation. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I didn't, you know, get the, the PS4 or the Xbox One at launch. It took me forever before I got either, like years before I got either. But let me tell you something, at the rate that things are going, I don't know what the prices are going to look like, but I think I might end up looking into a PS5. You know, I think I might end up jumping on that bandwagon. But until then, I'm curious to see what Ghost of Tsushima is going to be all about. Let's get right on into it. Right. One of these. Hello, everyone. I'm Jason Connell from Sucker Punch Productions. Oh, my gosh. We have a lot gosh. to show you today about Ghost of Tsushima combat, customization, special modes. But first, let's take a look at how you explore the world Man, of Tsushima. Man, look at how beautiful that is. It's just like I said when I played Shadow Warrior, man. The, the, the trees and the wildlife and everything is so beautiful over there. Exploring Tsushima. Not Tsushima, Tsushima, my bad. Oh, man, look at that. Exploration has been at the heart of our open world design since the very beginning. But you can't have exploration if you don't have curiosity. So we've continually asked ourselves, how can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? My goodness. Legend of the Ghost, The Wandering Samurai. <clears throat> Use the guiding wind to navigate the island. I was thinking my dude was fitting to fly for a second. <laughs> Does it like point you in the direction of where you got to go? Of course we have a horse. Such a beautiful horse. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at how look at how the 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 petals on the flowers actually blow away in the wind. And, you know, the, the blades of grass, how it all blows away in the wind. Look at how pretty that is. Come on, man. I am so giddy right now. Call a gust of wind at any time to point Hustle. you in the right direction. Oh, my goodness. And, of course, you can take from, take from the land. Is that a enemies about to spot me marker? Oh, hey, are they killing a bear? Wait a minute. <laughs> Yagata Forest. And they got the landscape down to a T. They do. They have it down to a T. Mongol territory. How interesting. The Guiding Wind can take you to all kinds of locations in the game, like this farmstead that's been taken over by the Mongols. It can also take you to your next big story moments, or even help you find rare collectibles. But what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen, Minor yet, that legend. you don't know exist? Keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues. Smokestacks on the horizons, interesting and odd-shaped trees, or maybe even animals oh. trying to get your attention. Quickly, no 
So you have to pay attention to the environment. It isn't just a, oh, there's something here on the map. I like that. It makes you look. It's more immersive. It's more realistic. Damn. And just, mmm. That soundtrack, though, man. Some birds will lead Jen to a point of interest. Oh, hey, birdie. Are you taking me to some rummy? You know, so we can play cards? Stay away, my lord. The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. Is that right? Let's go, Nobu. I'm pretty sure that you wood is made for bows. So we just have nature that's just guiding us. Explore abandoned buildings and collect rare resources. Oh man. Oh heck yeah. Yo, if I end up picking up a PS5 and I end up getting this game, if it's on the PS5, which I think it might be, all I gotta say is, man, that this would be a lot to go in a video. I might have to live stream this. Foxes will guide Jin to hidden shrines. That is so crazy, how the animals will just help you. And will like bears and gorillas like show up out of nowhere and just like help us fight off bad guys? Because that would be badass. Inari Shrine. Minor Charm. Cool, okay, so pay attention to the macaws and pay attention to the foxes. Tsushima is rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tori gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just the fox trying to show you something <laughs> hidden in the woods. We could pet the fox. Either way, bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. How amazing. Lord Sakai. Pillar of Honor. Oh, he's got a blade across his back. That's interesting. It wasn't on his hip. Is that like because of the blade that it is or... Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. Jin, the samurai. Hi, this is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. How you doing, Nate? Now, we just showed you some exploration, but let's switch gears and check out some combat. Yes. Yes. Show me that sweet sword play. Because I learned Kendo. So this speaks to me, man. Eventually, I will get a samurai sword and I'll have it crossed with this one. Oh, man. If you've ever Let's seen a samurai go. movie, you know what to expect. Two warriors sizing each other up, waiting for the other Stand to make off. the first move. Oh, hey. they are legit with this. They are that legit? And you know what? That's how it is too. That's how it is too. They say a master samurai can win a fight in five moves or less. As you can see, the Mongols are everywhere on this island. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful precision in fighting them. Oh, no hell wasted yeah. energy. Every strike must count. Headshot. Ooh, get out of here. Oh, hell yeah. Parry enemies at the last possible moment to open them up. Yeah. 
water stance? Change combat stances to inflict. What? Oh, can I dual wield, please? Oh my gosh. They throw the blade off and everything, man. That is legit. Bow to the fallen. Damn, dude. Hell yeah. Jin the ghost. I fucking love this. Dark. Oh, I love it so much. And okay, here's that. So that, that was that Jin fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the dishonorable ghost. As a ninja, as basically. Ghost, he'll use every dirty trick he can think up to even the odds. As a ninja. Even using fear as a weapon. <laughs> Got him! Ooh, got him! So he, yeah, but he's a ninja. So you can go about it in two ways. You can go the more combat method, or you can go the stealthy method. I like. Ow! I like that. I like that a lot. Firecracker. Ooh. Damn, dude. Yo, that, that, this is a bad man. Oh, got him. Hey. Hey. Nice. Kunai. We got Kunai. When spotted, use kunai for a quick kill. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Are we going on the ship now? Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a that's a heavy arrow. That's why he flopped backwards like that. Cuz it's a heavy arrow. What's up? Was he spotted? Are those explosives? Got him! <laughs> Getting stabbed is one thing, but then he twisted it and snapped his neck. That's a bad way to go, man. All destroy shipyard. Oh man, I love it. Customizing them. Okay, I love me some good customization. You might have noticed that while fighting as the samurai or sneaking around as the ghost, Jin had on a different set of armor. That's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages. It's not just the way it looks. It helps accent your chosen play style. Really? As you explore the world, you'll discover Omamori charms. They'll give you an edge in battle. But more importantly, as your legend grows, 
you'll develop all new techniques which transform Jin from a samurai Boy. into the ghost. But the thing is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow over time. It's always worth keeping an eye out for dye flowers. Find enough of them and you can change the color of an armor. So not only do you get to choose how the ghost gameplay evolves, but you can fine tune the look as well. Oh, heck yeah, man. I'm gonna have to rock black and gold. You already know. You already know. Photo mode, of course. Why wouldn't you? This game is it wouldn't beautiful. Wouldn't be a punch game if it didn't have photo mode. In our new photo mode, we have features such as color grading, depth of field, so you can focus on the right objects. We have a bunch of new features that really underline the motion and movement wow. that's so great about our game. You can control the wind's direction, the speed. You can change out the particles to different types of leaves and fireflies. What? You can even select a track of music from our original score that might be a little bit more fitting. So if you're into doing a photo, or maybe you actually want to do a video, there's something here for you. Here's a few that I've created. <laughs> that is bad ass. Japanese voice track. Oh! A Japanese voice track option with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game. So I'm happy to say that before the first scene even Luke starts, Hang? you'll be able to turn this option on. So you're able to hear it in their, their native language. Samurai Cinema? Interesting. Here at Sucker Punch, we are huge fans of Samurai Cinema. We wanted to create a way for you to feel like you're playing your favorite samurai movie. So we created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from the very beginning of the game. Oh! You know what? That is interesting. And that is, that is so cool! What? They went that far? Get out of here. Oh, see, that's photogenic right there, man. My God. Oh my gosh, I am so hyped. Today, we've shared with you some of the unique ways that you can explore the island of Tsushima. We've also shared with you some of the ways that you can fight as a samurai, or assassinate as the ghost, or customize Jin or play in special ways. Knowing me, I'd probably be the one that would try we to do both. We have so much more to show you in the future. Ghost of Tsushima comes out on July 17th. Thank you so much for watching today. My birthday we'll month. Again. Yes, man, oh my gosh. Oh. Damn, dude. Hell yeah, man. It was so beautiful. Oh, it was so beautiful. And the combat was amazing. The combat was so spot on. You know, like with Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, you had to like keep whacking them or parry and wait for an opening. But this time it's like, you don't have to constantly strike to have that opening because it is that legitness. 
between the ways of Bushido and Kendo that that wait and then that strike that just ends the fight oh my gosh that is amazing it is amazing it is beautiful it is spot on I, I can't wait I cannot wait because I'm calling it now I am playing this game <laughs> I'm calling it now. I am playing this game. Oh, man. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did. If you did, give the video a like. And hey, if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing for more of this, man? I mean, gosh. Whoo. Until next time. I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for Mini Moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.